Four year old boy is dead after police say the car he was in was hit by a drunk driver on Highway 100 near National Avenue in West Dallas. Katie Crowther spoke with that boy's devastated family and a witness who tried to save him. This is a difficult story to tell. I just got done speaking with the boy's father and a close family friend outside Freydert Hospital. In our lives, it's going to be here. <laughs> Seeing and feeling their pain is indescribable. A hand to hold and shared tears don't seem enough. <laughs> the boy they describe as the light of their lives, four year old Alexis Gonzalez, is gone. It's a beautiful picture. Oh my God. His father showing me photos from a family trip they took to Lake Geneva Sunday. Alexis was their only child. He loved dinosaurs and was just named student of the month at Forest Home Avenue School. He was an angel. Arturo Rosales was like a grandfather to Alexis. Very, very deep and sad pain. Alexis's mom, Sandra, who was also injured in the crash, is having a hard time coping. She have a broken heart. Sandra's sister is hospitalized with broken bones. They all went out to dinner Wednesday night and were on their way home when they were struck by a speeding driver. The 27 year old man from Greenfield was injured and arrested for operating while intoxicated. My heart is it's broken. Ryan McFarland works nearby, heard the crash and tried to save the little boy. I went in there and I uh supported his head. His family member in, in the front seat was trying to talk to me, but I, I don't understand Spanish. I didn't know what to say other than, you know, I'm trying to hold, you know, don't move, don't move. He was in a car seat and um, the, the driver was in a, was wearing their seatbelt. But when you're, when you're hit it at that amount of speed, you know, it doesn't matter. Both Ryan and the Gonzalez family, who will never be the same, share this message about reckless drunk driving. It's ridiculous. People need to stop. He's got to be put away for a long time. He had to be punished for what he did. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.